Oh. Oh. When the right time comes, oh yeah. It's lucky, brother. Oh. All right. Oh. Slept like a rock last night. Okay. So we've talked about Hosea, his whorish wife, Gomer, who the Lord said, take her, take her, take her, and, and love her, which means he still loves us, and he wants, he wants his whore his whoring children to come back to him. That's us Israelites. Um, I'm going to put give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, just in case someone just stumbles across this message but doesn't have the first message. That's why I just, I don't, I don't just keep running through because not enough people see my messages to to follow from part one to part two. They might just come upon part two, so I'm, that's why I um, recap so that anyone who wanders upon this message will not be totally confused going, what the f hell is this monkey talking about? So, um, Yahweh is our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai is our Deliverer, and the Kakodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us this power, wisdom, knowledge, ability to push out these biblical truths in these dangerous, perilous times that we live in. And then I went I went into the, um, the idolatry of, of Ephraim, which is uh, the symbol of all the northern kingdom. Ephraim's the head tribe. They're the, just like Judah's the leader of the southern tribe, Ephraim leads, is um, the leader or captain of the, of the 12, the 10 northern kingdom tribes. Uh, I went into the idol worship. Slucky brothers, getting hot in here. Oh. So the idol worship is um, the northern kingdom had the totem poles and the rock petroglyphs and things like that. That's worshiping on a um, horizontal level. We're supposed to be worshiping on a vertical level. It's it's him. It's the most high, Yahweh Shai, 144,000 elect of Israel. The one third, and then the two thirds. It's a, it's a vertical order, not a. There is no horizontal order. That's why when you start worshiping idols, it turns into chaos, because anything that's on this level is already defiled. So, um, at least in Esau Edom's kingdom, which we're in now, the um, Idumeans, the the wicked per uh, Malachi. So that's that. If you uh, if you want some more breakdown on that, go back to uh, what am I going to call this? Um, <laughs> Drop the idols. Return to the Lord. Drop the idols, return to the Lord. Drop the idols, return to the Lord. I'm trying to remind myself so when I upload it, I remember what to call it. All right, oh, return to the Lord. Hosea chapter 14, verse 1. Let me see what I got here. Yeah, this is the end of the book. So this is what he's expecting of us right now. We have to... If we're going to get out of here in one piece, because this man's coming down, man. He's coming down with some wicked wickedness. 
He's coming. He's getting ready to come down hard on us. If you haven't noticed, locking everything down, telling people they can't. Uh, we're supposed to be in a country. We the people. We're supposed to be in control of this place. And he has us so confused and so so stuck on this level instead of this level that people are just bugged out, believing every everything they hear from this man. They think people think another man is their friend. All you have to do is look around. How many of your friends have have stabbed you in the back? How many of your women have? Um, uh, call the police on you how many times have you gone to jail because um, someone had no loyalty how many times have you thought someone was your friend and they kicked you out of the apartment even though they didn't have to they could have they could have understood you, you or whatever I'm, I'm just saying the movies will tell you there are it's 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 good guys and bad guys and basically anyone that's walking around on this horizontal level this flat plane that we live on this it's a hor it's a it's hell this is hell it's a condition in the condi why it's a condition is because you can't trust anyone here you can't trust anyone the only one you can trust is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai so <laughs> I want to get all um emotional so I'm gonna just read the book let every man's mouth be silent and let the Lord speak um, I return to the Lord verse 14 of Hosea or blah, 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 chapter 14 verse 1 O Israel return unto the Lord Yahweh power for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity iniquity is sin upon sin upon sin upon sin I just let you keep doing it and you just kept doing it. You never like went, this sucks. I'm going to turn back to the Lord. Nope. If you look around, <laughs> I look around because I'm looking for um, my subscriptions to go up and my views to go up. They're not going up at all. You know why? Because thou hast fallen by thine iniquity, sin upon sin upon sin. No one wants to hear about Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know why? Because they're going to have to stop their wickedness. Verse 2. Take with you words. 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 I am the word. Is what Yahweh said. He's the word. He's the word of this book. He is the word. Take with you your words and turn to the Lord Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously, so will we render the calves of our lips. I looked up that calves, but I already forgot what it said. It's the um fourteen two. It's the fruit, the fruit of our lips. The fruit is this word. So what he's saying is, um, get back into the book read the words understand the words if you're Israel you can unless you're blinded you should be able to understand this book a lot better now because he's he's pouring out his Holy Spirit the Rakakwadash and all you have to do is believe it and get in the book and might just be a miracle. Life is a miracle. A little pato banthan for you. Life is a miracle. Asher shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses, neither will we say any more to the work of our hands, you are gods, for in thee the fatherless find mercy. Asher, that's the Assyrians, that's these that's these wicked people that are trying to um, get their birthright back, these Idumians. Um, we will not ride upon horses. We're not going to rely on guns and weapons and, and we're not going to fight with them with, with might. We're going to, 
fight with the word and we're going to fight with faith. Um, neither will we say any more to work to the work of our hands, ye are our gods. Like I was saying earlier, we can't make anything here that's going to save us. We no I no totem pole is going to save us. No saint behind the glass is going to save us. No statue of Jesus Christos or our Mother Mary. Have mercy, Mother Mary. Holding little baby Jesus up. Come on. Come on. These people are... Talk about bugged out. Just talking about it is like... Man, that's some bugged out shit. Right? Bugged out. Um, first... Um, year... For in thee, the fatherless find mercy. Um... I, I I don't know how that fits in. I will hear their I will heal verse four of Hosea fourteen. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely, and mine anger is turned away from him. So you know <coughs> this one. I'm not sure if the men of Great Millstone say this. Because uh, I know, I know, emotion will get you into situations that that you don't want to be in. Put it that way. <laughs> but um, if God's angry. And we have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem. If we have the spirit of the power, it only makes sense to me that we should have the same anger. But excuse me for my digression. Uh, verse four again. I will heal their backsliding. That means. We've been, we've been running away from the Lord and he will love us freely and that his anger will be turned away from us. Verse 5, I will be as the dew unto Israel. He shall grow as the lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. Um, that's what's happening now for, for the men of the Lord, uh, the 144,000 elect scattered across the four corners of the earth and the 130 elect. Uh, remnant We're like a tree rooted by the um, By the rivers of, of Lebanon where our roots are going back down we're we're realizing that we're Israel We're getting back into the book and we're like Jose was saying your words speak your words Speak these words, right? Um, cast forth his roots in Lebanon. His branches shall... Slaki brothers, verse 6 of Hosea 14. His branches... Uh, his branches shall spread and his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his smell as Lebanon. Lebanon was full of cedars. Still is, I think, although it's... Between the bombing, the um, chemtrails, the um, timber industry, whatever's going on over there. I'm sure it's not the same, but at one time, um, Lebanon was full of cedars. And the smell of, of Lebanon was of the smell of um, pine and cedar, that... that smell that you get from the um, real healthy uh, conifer trees the uh, what do you call them evergreens evergreen that's why that ship that got stuck in the canal over there that big cargo ship that got stuck was called evergreen the Lord is making a 
he's he's putting signs out there everywhere that he's coming back. So when you hear the word evergreen, it and that means that means us Israel. We're evergreen. We're we, we're always going to spring forth again because we're the children of the Most High. So anybody wants to do a lesson on that, if anyone's listening, any of you men out there, if I have any of you men listening, a good a good lesson would be on the evergreen and what the evergreen means in relation to Israel and the um, trees planted by the um, waters, the spiritual waters, right? Um, verse 7, they that dwell under the shadow, sh shadow shall return. It's talking about the shadow of death. We're in, right now, right here, we're under the shadow of death. We're walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Everywhere you look, this place is dead, 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 dead. It's dead. We're in the shadow of death. That's what he means right there by um Um They that dwell under his shadow shall return. Oh no, that's talking about the shadow of, of his wings. Slocky brothers. Throwing myself off here. <laughs> oh, Slocky. Baba Kasha. <laughs> they that dwell under his shadow shall return. That's the shadow of his wings. Um, in, a, in more than one place, the Lord, um, Yahweh Power, the men of the Lord um, would say he's like a hand. He's like a a hand that wants to gather his chicks under the wing and protect them, right? So that's what it means. The shadow of... They that dwell under his shadow shall return. That's the shadow of his his covering. He covers you. You're not going to be destroyed. They shall revive as the corn and grow as the vine, and the scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon. Um, the smell of Lebanon... The olive tree, the wine of Lebanon, all that harkens back to this word. The word is like fine wine to us. When we drink it, it gets us it gets us high just the right way. <laughs> just enough just enough of the the best stuff in the world to um, keep us going right that's beautiful stuff and that's why that's why I was talking about the um, in the first part of this lesson the poetry when I was giving the surf report the poetry that's the poetry right there that's um I'll read I'll read it again real quick um, I will be as the dew unto Israel this is five I'm gonna read five through seven again because it's this is the um this is part of that poetry i was talking about i will be as the dew unto israel he shall grow as the lily and cast forth his roots as lebanon they that dwell under the shadow shall return they shall revive as the corn and grow as the vine the scent thereof shall be as the wine of lebanon Beautiful. So verse 8, Ephraim, back to Ephraim, northern tribe. Ephraim shall say, what I have, what have I to do any more with idols? <sighs> Putting away this world. Putting away this world there's nothing here that's going to save us and at that time right now I don't do I don't do the um, I don't do the plantation Christianity any, anymore I don't go to those um, houses of quote worship you know what they are they're, they're houses of idolatry they're worshipping they're worshiping idols and they're worshiping 
um, Jesus Christos. That's a that's a horizontal that's a horizontal worship. The Lord isn't in buildings. It says it all through the scriptures. I'm 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 not in those whorehouses. He calls them. There's a few places in the Bible where it talks about the um, churches as whorehouses because there's much whoredoms going on there. Ephraim shall say, What have I to do anymore with idols? I have heard him and observed him. I am like a green fir tree. From me is thy fruit found. There's the fruit again. If you go through my messages, or if you've been following the whole time, Hopefully you have because, you know, it's, it's really funny that um, not only is it only you few people listening to me, um, oh God, they have to pull up right next to me, right? Ay, ay, ay. Um, I'm going to roll up the window real quick, slock you brothers. Oh boy. <laughs> so I, I talk a lot about the fruit, the fruit, the fruit, the fruit of the Spirit. So what's it say? Um, Ephraim shall say, verse 8 of Hosea 14, Ephraim shall say, what have I to do anymore with idols? No more horizontal worshiping. There's nothing, there's nothing here that's going to, that you should be expecting to save you or that you can uh, worship or that you can believe in. I have heard him and observed him. I am like a green fir tree. From me is thine fruit found. From Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is where you're going to get your fruit. The fruit is so important. I don't know how many times it says fruit in the Bible, but believe me. It's probably over, over 300. I'll get back to you on that. Um, <laughs> maybe not that much, but it, the fruit's very important. The fruit of the spirit is what's going to get us up out of here. You can't, you can't rely on anything carnal, and that's what idols are. They're carnal things made with hands, like totem poles and saints behind the glass. <laughs> um. From me is thy fruit found. Last verse. I'm, I'm going to finish this off. I think you got the idea. Um, the, the, thrust of the, the thrust of the lesson is um, vertical worship versus horizontal worship. Uh, we got to know that what's going on here is not... It, it seems like it has meaning, but it only has meaning if you're turning away from it and saying no, no. 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 No man's going to tell me what the fuck to do. If I accidentally somehow in some way screw up, which I don't think is going to happen, that's going to be my fault. And that's going to be the Lord doing it for some reason. And I'm not going to hold it against him that I get taken out or I get tricked or I get screwed somehow because this man here is devilish and if I have to if I have to be the devil for my Lord I might end up that way I might have to I might have to take down someone really big and to do that I have to turn into a devil so that's another thing you got to realize is that part of the fruit may be that um as long as you're worshiping vertically, whatever you end up doing is going to be the Lord's will. And that's what, that's where the, huh, what is it? You know, sometimes the reason I get, um, uh, confused, you might say, or, um, I act baffled or whatever is there's, so many different scriptures sometimes going through my mind and I'm not the best at 
I'm 60 years old now in a couple months. I just not, I'm not, I have, my computer doesn't work like it used to. So the reason I get like that is because there's so many things that I'd like to say and, and I know what would be the best thing to say. I just can't grab it. Um, the fruit, the fruit. Anyway. Oh, okay. So the fruit, this, I'm going to just go into it real quick. Okay, so supposedly the fruit that Eve offered Adam, right? That was the fruit of the tree of good and evil. So the Lord's fruit is the fruit from the tree of life, and it doesn't have... It doesn't have the evil in it. It's it's all good fruit. It's not. And so that's why the fruit's so important because it's the symbol it's the symbol of God's goodness. And God's goodness means obeying. If 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 Eve would have obeyed and not listened to what I guess that's going to be the thrust of the lesson is we can't listen to these men that he's offering us. He's offering us this fruit again. And this is, this is going to be, this is the coming of a new era. If you take that fruit, you're going to be stuck in, in, in a hell state for a very long time time <sighs> Sodish children are going to take that fruit they already have <sighs> this isn't easy stuff man it's not easy stuff to get and too bad that no one really knows how powerful I'm what I'm talking about right now powerful Makes a guy want to cry. <laughs> Verse 9. Who is wise? Who is wise and he shall understand these things? You like that? You like that ending? Let me see what I got. Pretty, pretty perfect. Three more minutes. Who is wise? And he shall understand these things. Prudent. And he shall know them. For the ways of Yahweh power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, are right. And the just, the just shall walk in them. But the transgressors, the transgressors shall fall therein. One more time. I just said it. You notice, you ever notice how I say it and then I read it? That's the Holy Spirit. Sounds like gibberish to, to most people. Don't you just don't get it? Who is wise and he shall understand these things? Prudent and he shall know them. For the ways of the Lord Yahweh power, Yahweh Bashaim, are right. And the just shall walk in them, but the transgressors shall fall therein. What more can I say? <sighs> You know what's really um, interesting is um, I'm doing this because my Lord tells me to do it and I know what it means. I'm prudent. I'm walking in His ways. But not even the men of Great Millstone see me or hear me. 
but hopefully some of you do. And hopefully these messages, by the time they get to the people they need to get to, the Lord will have it perfectly set for you to hear me and to hear me well. And hopefully I don't get full of myself because I can feel the spirit working with me right now. Back when I got into the book, I got into Hosea. It was one of those one of those books I was interested in because I had whoring wives. And um, at the time, I, I was at a very beginner level. And um, now, I'm no beginner anymore. I'm a journeyman. And um, I can teach. I can teach really powerful sometimes. But you need to follow. Like Yahushai, the people followed him. That's all I got. You're going to have to serve someone. Bob Dylan, even that devil Bob Dylan said it. You got to serve someone. Make that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I'm not going to promote myself. I'm going to let the Lord promote me. And, um, at this point, I'm going to say, I'm going to keep sending out these messages. I missed a message yesterday, but everyone needs a break. All right, this is J.D. Nija, your brother, and Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Remember, falling is Babylon. Babylon is falling. Rising is Zion. Zion is rising. Kwam Yasharala.